There was an idea. Stark knows this. Called the Avengers Initiative. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people. See if they could become something more. See if they could work together when we needed them to. To fight the battles that we never could. Infinity War and the as yet unnamed Avengers 4 are going to tie up everything we've seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe so far. So that's 18 movies worth of stuff, which is quite a lot. And if you're dedicated enough, you can blast through all the MCU before Infinity War launches, especially with the help of our video guide. Or you can just watch this video, which is going to recap where all the main characters are, what they've been up to, and crucially, the locations of all those blasted Infinity Stones. Now, there's going to be spoilers ahead for everything in the MCU and also the Infinity War prelude comics, but to be honest, they're not very good. So if anything, I'm doing you a favour here. You're welcome. Let's kick things off with the characters who have been officially revealed by Marvel, slash who we've seen in the trailers. In Civil War, Iron Man and Captain America fell out over the Sokovia Accords, with Iron Man believing that the Avengers should be controlled and have accountability for their actions, and Cap believing that they should actually just have free reign. Their relationship dissolves completely when Iron Man discovers that Cap knew that Bucky killed his parents and hid that from him. They part ways with Iron Man taking on mentorship duties of Spider-Man in Spider-Man Homecoming, eventually inviting the young Peter Parker to join the Avengers full time. However, Parker turns him down, instead deciding to return home to Aunt May and his best buddy Ned Leeds. But it's not all bad news for Stark, he does get back together with Pepper Potts and commences work on a new suit at the new Avengers facility in upstate New York. Oh, and Happy Hogan is there too. After their tiff, Cap leaves a message for Stark, assuring him that if he ever needs him, he's just a call away. Cap then frees Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, Falcon and Hawkeye from the Raft prison where they were held after the big airport fight in Civil War. Scarlet Witch and Vision set up a new life in Europe. Hawkeye announces that he is officially retired this time, which is good because his wife Laura has just had their third child. Both he and Ant-Man return home to their respective families as fugitives not heroes. Cap is invited to Wakanda by T'Challa, who reveals that his sister Shuri can remove Bucky's Hydra programming. Leaving Bucky on ice in Wakanda, he regroups with Black Widow and Falcon to do some covert avengering. Through Widow's KGB contacts, they learn that a terrorist group is attempting to smuggle some Chitauri field weapons into America. After swiftly dealing with them the only way they know how, they turn their gaze to the next place trouble is due to strike. Lebanon, so don't be surprised if that's where they are at the beginning of Infinity War. As a result of his injury during the airport battle, War Machine is currently recuperating at the new Avengers facility, relearning how to walk thanks to a device that Tony Stark made for him. After the Battle of Sokovia, Hulk took off on a Quinjet, and later finds himself on Sakaar, acting as the Grand Master's champion. <laughs> He links back up with Thor, who along with Loki and Valkyrie, become the Revengers. Determined to take Asgard back from the Goddess of Death and Thor and Loki's sister, Hela. Which doesn't entirely go to plan. But the team do manage to rescue a lot of Asgardian citizens, and it's been confirmed that Loki took the Space Stone from Odin's treasure vault before the place blew up. They and Heimdall decide to take the refugees to Earth, aiming to establish a new Asgard there. But again, it doesn't go entirely to plan because they are intercepted by none other than Thanos. Thanos has decided to take matters into his own Infinity Gauntlet adorned hands. There's a few other characters lurking about in space. We left the Collector sat atop the rubble pile that was once his incredible archive on the giant severed head planet thing of nowhere. After the death of Yondu and the destruction of Ego, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Kraglin and Star-Lord's brand new Zune... It's got 300 songs on it. 300 songs? are currently floating about space on the Milano. Nebula has gone off to seek her revenge on Thanos, claiming that she'll kill him herself. 
T'Challa has traveled to Geneva along with Nakia and Okoye to reveal to the UN that Wakanda is in fact not a third world country. He set up the first Wakandan outreach center in California, Ayo, Ramonda and M'Baku are all currently back in Wakanda. And finally, in New York, Dr. Stephen Strange and Wong are residing in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Strange has compiled a list of interdimensional and extraterrestrial beings that might pose a threat to life on Earth. They have a brief run-in with one of those threats, Loki and his brother Thor, and Wong basically has a little story time with Strange to recap the locations of all the Infinity Stones, which I'll get to in a minute. Okay, now let's talk about the characters who haven't been officially announced, but there have been a lot of rumors, strange Instagram posts, and rogue IMDb listings. Please take with a pinch of salt. Okay, I know that IMDb is not the most reputable source, but it's hard to imagine an Avengers movie without Nick Fury. One Jake Garber is listed as Samuel L. Jackson's personal makeup artist, so it looks like he's gonna be making some kind of appearance. We last saw Fury at the end of Age of Ultron at the new Avengers facility, where he was helping Black Widow track down Hulk. Thanks to another IMDb leak, we can assume that Thor's mother, Frigga, is going to appear in Infinity War somehow. She died in Thor 2, The Dark World, protecting Jane Foster. However, she could still appear in a flashback sequence in Infinity War. And finally, on an Instagram Q&A, Evangeline Lilly confirmed that Wasp will appear in Avengers 4. As of right now, Hope Van Dyne is hanging about San Francisco after having just got her very own Wasp suit. It's about damn time. But remember that Ant-Man and the Wasp is coming out just after Infinity War, and that movie will likely set up her appearance in Avengers 4 quite nicely. And while we're here, let's recap the locations of the Infinity Stones. The Time Stone, able to control the flow of time, is housed in the Eye of Agamotto, which is currently in the care of Stephen Strange in New York. We learned in Thor The Dark World that the Red Reality Stone, then taking the form of the Aether and able to give the user the ability to warp reality, has come to rest in the safekeeping of the Collector in his ruined archive on Nowhere. After the Guardians of the Galaxy wrested the Purple Power Stone from the clutches of Ronan the Accuser, they left it in the possession of the Nova Corps on Xandar. The Yellow Mind Stone was used back in Age of Ultron to create Vision's corporeal form. However, from the Infinity War trailer, we can hazard a guess that it doesn't stay with Vision for very long. As I mentioned earlier, we definitely have confirmation that Loki lifted the Space Stone, capable of controlling space itself, from Odin's vaults. He's currently carrying it on the ship to Earth. And finally, the Soul Stone. We don't know about this one, but we do have some theories, so check out this video for more. 